They say that love is in the air. Today we're creating the Pink Lady. Uh, the Pink Lady is a classic. It's similar to a Clover Club, if you remember that episode. Um, it's just that instead of using raspberry syrup, we're utilizing grenadine. Uh, I haven't had this. I've heard it was named for how gin was at the time, which was more like slow gin or like the original gin or the original, but a variation on uh, Geneva. I've also heard that a bartender, Jack Townsend, uh, said that it was for a, uh, a woman who would come in and order order a pink lady once or twice a year around Christmas and maybe some other uh, some some other time, um, and it was thought to be a rather high up drink of the women from the 1930s to the 1950s. True or not, I don't know, but uh, I haven't had this, so let's get into this. This is, of course, a shaken cocktail. Grab your shaker. I need three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice, and I need a quarter ounce of a grenadine. This helps to give it the signature look of a pink lady. And now I need apple jack. I'm gonna go ahead and use Laird's straight apple brandy. Uh, reason being bottled and bond, 50% alcohol, so it'll work just fine. And I need a half an ounce of apple jack. Now for the final, I need gin. I'm using Tangare as a London dry style. You can use Ford's beef eater. If it's a London dry, cool. Uh, you wanna use Boodles, go for it. Uh, aviation, go for it. An ounce and a half of gin. And now this is a sour, it is an egg white sour. So grab yourself an egg, crack it, and utilize an egg white. Before I put it in though, swap for the large tin. Now if I screw up here, I don't have to remake the entire cocktail. Okay, now that's done. Take your alcohol, add it to your egg white. And we're gonna do the dry shake. Much like in every other dry shake we've done, line up the tins as much as you can. Seat, give a pop if you want to. Good. Dry shake, about 10 seconds. 10, 15 seconds, you want to be careful. If you're going to dry shake like this, go ahead. That way, if it explodes, it goes that away, not against your guests. So that's fine. Now I'm going to go ahead and put this back in. See, it's already getting frothy. And this is where you grab your ice. Ice into the large tin. Add your, add your pre-shaking cocktail. Pop in. Soft shakes to begin. About 10 to start to compress because cold air is denser, brings it all in. And now go. Beautiful. Come on. Large coop for the extra volume that could be in this. Haul forward in. Strain. Now I'm gonna let that sit for a second. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab some cherries. Got some Luxardo cherries here. Spear one out, add to the cocktail. And this, for every intent and purpose, is a pink lady. That doesn't wanna stay, which is fine. It's a garnish, go put this off to the side. Cheers. No, it's nice. It's nice. Um, the gin, the apple jack, the lemon juice. Um, it's tart, very tart. Could stand for a little bit more sweetness, in my opinion. Maybe, um, maybe add a little bit of simple rather uh, rather than just go straight grenadine for the sweetness. Um, but that's also my palate, and that's one way that you can maneuver cocktails: is add sweetness, take away sweetness. Um, but you know, this is fine. It's a fine cocktail. The uh, Nice frothy head. Uh, the drink below. It's good on a presentation. It's uh, it's pretty tasty. You know, and I'm okay with this. It's a nice, um, it's a nice cocktail. I have to say, it's um, it's pretty well good. It's pretty, it's pretty well done. If you like the video, then please hit the like button, comment, subscribe, and share the video, please. If you want to use any of the barware that I use on my show, check the links down below. They are Amazon affiliate links, which means that if you click the link and make a purchase of that item, I receive a bit of the kickback. 
thank you in advance. Uh, you can find me on my socials right here. Uh, try to be on my, you know what? Gone. I'm not worrying about my personal YouTube channel right now because it's not really important. Uh, I'm going to be going back to Twitch. I'll have a link to my Twitch down below and I'll modify this sometime. Until next time, thank you for watching. I'll be back real soon with another cocktail. This has been The Beginner's Bar.